What's going on guys? Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman. A lot going on in the Pulse Chain ecosystem. We know it has had quite a run off the lows, but a nasty sell-off happened overnight. What has been going on? Let's talk about it. Alright guys, first of all we go over to PulseX, we see that these farms are staying about flat, down a little bit from their highs as far as APR. Now that can be a couple reasons. Number one, if the liquidity is rising, the same amount of INC tokens are coming out, so therefore everybody's APR drops a little bit. But the reason in this case is because the INC price has actually taken a bit of a hit. It is acting almost like an exponential uh, mover in comparison to PLS and PLSX and HEX. Obviously PS PLSX has been outperforming uh, Pulse and Hex, but underperforming INC at least in the short run, and that is due to the dynamics of Richard Hart's Law or the way that LPs work, um, and uh, let's talk about that. So here you go, past 24 hours, we see that Pulse is down 11.6%, Pulse X down 11.8%, INC down 226 This is telling you that on the upside, when Pulse and Pulse X are pumping, the liquidity pair is driving INC price higher due to the small market capitalization and essentially all of the liquidity is locked with those tokens. So it's going to outperform on the upside here in the short term, but it is underperforming on the downside, which makes a lot of sense. Not all that big of a deal, but it does impact the APRs that we are seeing over on the farms. Now with this sell-off, should you be panicking? Should you be taking your profits? You know, you're up 20% on your sack rate on Pulse, not even including the bonuses. And right now, uh, PulseX did fall back below that 0.5 sack rate. Is that 0.476? Um, well, let's look at the chart. I don't think this should be a panic selling. I don't think you should be taking profits here. Really, I think this should be a buy the dip opportunity for people who are just new to Pulse Chain or people who took profits up here or maybe you had some cash sitting sitting on the side. Now is the time I think you could deploy. The past few videos, I have been raising concern that we are seeing a bearish divergence over and over. You're getting higher highs, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, but lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high on the RSI. That is a bearish divergence. The volume still look good. I said, you know, at some point we are going to see a correction due to this bearish divergence, but we just don't know how long the magic carpet ride uh, lasts with the God Whale and some of these uh, people buying up all the supply of PLS and PLSX, probably never to sell them again. Now, we did see this bearish divergence. It's it's interesting because we keep ticking this uptrend line. This is very important. This is one that I drew off this first move here. Haven't touched it. This was actually one of the largest sacrifice wallets selling Pulse, Pulse X, INC, Hex, whatever it may be. But this isn't only one person. Somebody is saying it's between 20 to 40 individuals. They kind of gamified the bonus system of the early sacrifices uh, back in the day to get the biggest possible bonus. They sold and they sold in mass all in one market sell, like 960000 or something just in one, just to eat up a wall. Now, millions of dollars across the board, um, but they aren't really caring about the price impact. They're trying to sell into the, the buy support that they had, but we do see that we came back to support and held, and now we're getting rejected, rejected at this overhead resistance here. This formation could be a broadening channel. Broadening channels in this kind of formation usually are bearish, but you can look at a couple things. A, you want to look at volume, and B, it's really determined on breakout direction. Breakout direction means do we fall below this line or do we go above this line first? If the breakout direction is down with volume, bearish formation. If the breakout direction is up with volume, then we are breaking out of the channel in a bullish formation. This formation is probably something like this. That's not even the indicator I wanted. Why did that get switched? Uh, do, 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 do this one. Broadening channel, A, B, C, D off the support, E up here. And you really probably have an F down here. And then what you want to see is this come up, get stopped up here. Look at that. We have another resistance level up here. So that could work out perfectly. This is a very important level between the 1650 to the 1700. You probably back check off that channel once again. You want to stop though around this E. A nice even level would be this you know 1500 mark here. And then we want with volume 
with volume to come up to come up and go beyond this channel we want this to break through that's what we want to see for the bullish formation that's kind of where we're at and that's kind of why I think you have a buy the dip if you think this is a broad broadening channel this is a dip you want to be buying a little bit lower coming back to the support level coming back to this uptrend line off this wick off this wick and off this low made here broadening a channel if you want it to remain bullish you need to kind of hold around here wicks are okay but you need to hold around this level and also if you're not playing the broadening channel but you're remaining bullish which i think we will be i think richard hart will keep deploying funds this thing will keep getting new bridgers i think we're, we're on the upward trajectory you're going to have some volatility you're going to want to hold this starting point as you see here the first move got rejected here we came down and we broke through broke through with a volume spike with green candles so this is important level this 1000 level the sacrifice price level is very important to hold for the bulls if this drops i do think we fall back into this purple level here and this is kind of uh the retest of all of this in wyckoff terms this would be a backup to the creek and that is very important for the bulls otherwise we get back into the doldrum and the sec fud happens and panic selling occurs and pulse chain is dead again i don't think richard hart lets that happen um, so again, supremely bullish. If you want this broadening channel to go, you need to be buying somewhere around here. Very important mental barrier is the sacrifice price, which I have here in red. And if that breaks, then yes, we have a backup all the way down here to all these previous highs in this purple rectangle for my first video that I said, if you get there, that's a buy, no brainer buy. I don't think Richard Hart will let the chart get sloppy and fall below that level ever again. If we are doing the March upward for pulse chain. Similar applies to PulseX. As you know, PulseX is where I'm more heavy. I just do the the, the technical analysis there. It's a, is a little bit cleaner due to no buyback and burn functionality, token economics there. But you can see broadening wedge. You can see the support level. You can see the breakout level here in the blue. And you see the same purple rectangle line here. These are the upside objectives. Of course, sacrifice price getting up here. These are all resistance levels. And look how this thing is also... Was producing bearish divergence with price and RSI on increasing volume. Sell-off looks very similar because due to Hart's law, things are following pretty similar together. Just PulseX is outperforming on the upside and very slightly, very slightly underperforming on the downside versus Pulse. This one we need to hold very soon, guys. This is getting very close. We don't want this to break down with volume and go below this 4286 uh, former resistance flip support. The negative is that I can see people are already talking about if this happens, left shoulder, head, neckline, right shoulder, if it comes down here, that's what people are going to be saying. Um, but again, if you're bullish, we might not get to that point or we would want this to be a false flag uh, and hold that level and continue to march higher. Again, bulls need to be holding these levels. And this is the, if we get down to this purple triangle, close your eyes, hold your breath, and buy. Because I don't think Richard Hart lets he gets below here. Otherwise, we get into another doldrum of Pulse Chain becoming irrelevant once again. That's the quick update. And let me know your thoughts on what you guys are doing. We are seeing with the altcoins that I talked about, PTGC, even in the sell-off, holding strong. Why? Because the volume creates buybacks, burns, reflections, rewards. So it is outperforming here on the dip. And, of course, its little brother Alien is also outperforming on the dip. The volume really helps uh, the holders of these two assets. But, again, the success of PLS, the success of PulseX exponentially helps the success of PTGC. These assets are also helping Pulse Chain as well. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice collaboration there um, and a good thing to hold. If you're looking for small caps outside of the large caps uh, where you're just kind of holding and really trying to benefit the entire ecosystem, those are, should still be on your radar. All right, those are the levels. Let me know. Peace.